This is a city that blends a cultural past with a happening present. Toss in some great local adventure and beautiful weather, and you know why RVers love the Tampa St. Pete area. The city of Tampa is located about midway down the Florida Peninsula on the Gulf side, and is living proof that there is life down here outside of Miami. And unlike some beach communities that only have a beach, Tampa also has an interesting history and some great architecture. Like the building behind me, the old Tampa Bay Hotel, dating back to 1891 and once used as a headquarters for Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders. Downtown Tampa is now a modern growing city filled with glass and steel skyscrapers, excellent museums, and plenty of snowbirds trading the cold of the north for the beautiful beaches and warm gulf waters down here. You will also find a definite Cuban influence in Tampa, especially in this colorful district on the northeast side. This is Ybor City, a popular historic district in downtown Tampa, once the site of a thriving cigar-making industry. It's now evolved to a happening nightlife district with plenty of restaurants and clubs, but you can still get a fine cigar here. Ybor City became the cigar capital of America in the first half of the 20th century. The cigars are still hand-rolled here using the same time-honored process. For years and years and years and years, this was the city capital of the world for the cigar industry. Right, and what are these boxes over here? These are these, presses or? These are what we call the molds. They hand roll the cigars, they put them into a mold, which is right there. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, once the, the cigar becomes rolled like this and it's mold, then they take it out of the press and then they cut it and then it takes a wrapper, all made by hand. Mmm, well, that's tasty. The Columbia Restaurant is a landmark in Ybor City dating back to 1905 and keeps the history alive with an evening dinner show featuring Spanish flamenco dancing. George Guido has worked at the restaurant some 40 years and has seen some big names come and go. I've seen Frank Sinatra come in, I've seen Dean Martin eating here, I've seen um, uh, Kennedy, John Kennedy has been here. Ybor City has evolved over the years from the cigar industry into one of Tampa's main nightlife districts. Our viewers can take advantage of all this downtown Tampa excitement and then escape to a secluded park just north of the city. The Bay Bayou RV Resort is located just off Tampa Bay with some 241 spacious wooded sites, a full service 6,000 square foot clubhouse, and a beautiful swimming pool. We're literally only about uh, seven or eight minutes north of the Tampa International Airport, so uh, you can be uh, you can be in town in 15, 20 minutes and at the airport in eight, seven, eight, ten minutes. Like many RV parks today, Bay Bayou serves a growing number of tech-savvy RVers and recently installed a Wi-Fi antenna to bring high-speed internet access to every site. They can be sitting in their RV uh, plugged right into the internet with high-speed internet access. And that appeals to working RVers like Becky and Mark Chapman. She's working on a project. She's actually opening a restaurant in Tulsa. So we're training here. And she needs internet, internet access also to get to her email and mm -hmm. all the different things she's working on, too. So. And how long have you folks been RVing? Uh, about four years. Four years. And what got you into it? Uh, my husband got me into it. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know the rest of the story. Yeah, I, I, I actually never knew it would be so much fun, but, but we've, we've just enjoyed every bit of it. I guess you occasionally watch RV today? We do all the time, and when we're not at home, we tape it. How about that? Yeah. When they're not at home, they tape it. On TiVo. On <laughs> uh, TiVo it, as we say in the business. The group enjoys all the great amenities at Bay Bayou, like the docks that are great for fishing or just relaxing. This is strictly for sitting out and reading the book, just, just laying, kicking back. Uh, we have another dock just like this down the way that's strictly for fishing. If you're looking for a great roller coaster in Tampa Bay, Bush Gardens is the spot. They have a wide variety of coasters, including Montu. It's an exciting inverted ride with a 104-foot vertical loop. Bush Gardens is just a short drive from Bay Bayou, 
and is a nice family outing featuring great rides, majestic animals, and top-rated entertainment. The African-themed adventure park offers more animals and more ways to see them than any single destination outside of Africa. You can make a reservation and go out on one of the feed trucks and actually feed the giraffes and, and the uh, eland and some of the other animals really up close by hand and they'll, they'll come right over to the truck where you are. The Bush Gardens Serengeti Plain opened in 1965 and was the first zoo setting to feature free roaming herds of animals. The experience includes a jeep tour with a wild ride down a raging river. After all that excitement, it just might be time to head back to camp or catch one of those beautiful Florida sunsets on the other side of the bay.